He is a survivor. A dog shot twice in the head gets to go home tonight. His name is Mater, but perhaps it should be Lucky instead. Lucky because the vet says luck may be all that saved this dog's life. The question now, who would do such a thing? Nine on your side's John Genovese joins us live from the Mount Pleasant Animal Hospital in Fairfield. John, how is Mater doing? Well, thankfully, he's doing much better. Mater underwent surgery here and tonight is recovering back at home. And now deputies need your help to track down the shooter. Inside this office, now walking on his own. <laughs> Three-year-old Mater is making progress. I love this dog. I love him so much. But owner Kelsey Moon knows he's not out of the woods just yet. He's a fighter, and I don't doubt that he will make it through this. Sometime overnight, Mater was shot twice near his Hamilton home off Gardner Road. We woke up this morning and looked out the window because we heard something, and he was sitting there covered in blood. Kelsey and her boyfriend then quickly opening the door. He came in and he collapsed, and he would not get back up, and so. We started screaming and we grabbed a blanket and got him to the nearest animal hospital. This x-ray showing the metal shard still lodged in the base of his skull. The fact that he's maintained his airway and is breathing relatively well. Um, got a lot of damage to the sinuses, um, which I think time's going to tell that. Veterinarian Brady Hall says there's no doubt luck was on their side. The first good sign um, that we look for in a patient is are they going to eat? Um, and when we offered him some, some food after surgery, he gobbled it down um, and looked like he was ready for more. Happy he's home. This is Mater's nice new dog bed for him to recover on. Kelsey's now trying to figure out who pulled the trigger and why. I hope whoever did this can find peace within themselves because they've got some problems. Now, Mater will be back here for a checkup on Wednesday. An anonymous donor helped cover some of the costs of his surgery today. In the meantime, anyone with information on this shooting is being urged to call the Butler County Sheriff's Office. For now, reporting live, John Genevieve, C9, on your side.